Bro, get a hose, get a hose. Go. Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? It's your scientist and today This doesn't feel right. One second. All right, there we go. Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? It's your scientist and today we are back with Bro, why why are you wearing a blanket? It's not it's supposed to be a lab coat. Dog, that's a that's a blanket, man. I was just using that blanket last night. Did you nap with it? Yeah, a couple times actually. Okay, one sec, one sec. Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? It's your scientist and today I'm gonna be showing you some really simple science experiments you can do at home with ping pong balls. Before we get started with the very first experiment, just scroll on down to that thumbs up button and smash it. If we could get over 13 likes on this video, that would be amazing. For the first experiment, all you're gonna need is a beer bottle and a ping pong ball. Now, if you're under the age of 18, 19, or 21, depending on where you're living, be sure to ask your parents so, for a beer bottle. So all your friends? Ask your parents for a beer bottle or go steal one from the liquor store, whichever you prefer. Take one of the ping pong balls, put it on top. What's supposed to happen is when you rotate the bottle, this stays in place. Okay, so I just did some quick physics calculations, realized that the reason for it was uh, the E minus two X, which was created by the force of the water being poured in, wasn't quite adequate. So basically in, in simple terms, so you guys can understand, I just gotta add a little bit more water into the bottle. So I'm just gonna do that now and it's gonna work perfectly, all right? Oh, okay, a little overflow, you know, that's what you want. Put it there. All right, now, just to show you guys, still comes off, okay? Thank you. Am I your ball boy? Yeah, you're my assistant. Oh. Don't forget it. Don't forget my PayPal. Fuck. Attempt number two, let's go. Oh, oh it was working for a bit, it was working for a bit. Ready? No, 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 no! Of course it works. Yeah. I knew it. See, the displacement is now proper. The water is putting enough force into the mm -hmm. ping pong ball to allow for it to stick. Exactly. And that's that. exactly how it works. It. it looks like it might stop. Oh, oh, oh. Congratulations. You played yourself. So we're going to go slow. It's nice and slow. Okay, we're good. Oh, bam. Okay, we've done this. This works. Now we got to go back. That's how science is done, folks. Fuck out of here. Just make sure to fill the bottle right to the top before you do it. And when you're going both ways, do it fairly slowly. Don't go really fast. Otherwise, the suction power will be negated and water will spill everywhere. <laughs> Moving on to experiment number two. All right, guys, for this second experiment, all you're gonna need, again, is a ping pong ball. And this time, instead of a beer bottle, all you need is a glass of water. All right, so all you're gonna do is put the ball into the cup and you're gonna see it goes to the side immediately. Now watch, every time I try and push it into the center, it's gonna go right back to the side. It won't stay in the center. Even if I really just like lightly touch it, lightly touch it, and watch, it's just gonna slowly ease back to the outside. Every single time, doesn't, doesn't matter what you do. Now, we're just gonna add some more water into the cup. Again, kind of like with the beer bottle, we're gonna fill it right to the top to the point where it's almost overflowing. So now that we've filled it right to the top, we're gonna put the ball back in, and what's supposed to happen is it's going to stay in the center of the glass no matter what we do. As you can see, it's not going to the edge anymore. So let's try pushing it and see what happens. Boom, you see that? Right back into the middle, push it again. Back into the middle, push it again back into the middle. So no matter what you do, now it's going to stay in the center. Whereas before, no matter what you did, it would move out to the side. Now this is called displacement theory. Basically what it means is when the water is filled to the top, nothing can be displaced outside. So it stays inside. And uh, when the water's not filled to the top, nothing can be displaced outside or nothing can be, dis 
Okay, I don't really know why the hell this happens, but it's kind of cool, so try it at home. All right, moving on to experiment number three. This one is called the floating ping pong ball. Now there's two ways that you can do this trick. First, I'm just gonna show you the really simple way. All you need is a hair dryer and a ping pong ball. You take your hair dryer, you plug it in, or if it's wireless, you don't have to plug it in, and you put it onto the highest heat. And then what you're gonna do is put the ping pong ball over the hair dryer and it's gonna float. Check that out guys, as you can see it is floating in midair, it's slowly rotating and you can even slightly turn it to the side and it'll still stay there. And you can toy around with it and see how far you can go, so let's try that out, let's see. Oh, it's hot. Now the second way you can do this is kind of like a magic trick, a little more sneaky. This is a personal It's Your Scientist favorite. Basically all you gotta do is put some serious headphones on your friend so he can't hear this loud fucking noise. Then you gotta hide that you're using one of these somehow. Yeah, grab a pillow. Thanks. Thank you. Give me the f Hey, you want your money? That's what I thought. They might wonder, what do you have on the other side of that pillow? But just tell them to shut up, okay? So you have your hair dryer behind the pillow. They have their headphones on, so they can't hear the hair dryer. You turn it on, and you go like this. Oh my god, it's um, floating! I can actually see the hair dryer. Okay. Is that how, part of the trick? How about now? No, not anymore. Okay, there we go. Ooh! <laughs> You can pretend you're using your mind to like do it like uh, Okay. So we're gonna show you how easy this is. He has no idea what I'm about to do. He does not see the hair dryer in my hand. He can't even hear me right now. Right? Have you been talking? <laughs> see? No idea what I just said. Here, one second so you can hear me. Whoa. <laughs> Alright man, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a crazy trick on you right now. Alright, okay? alright, let's do it. Don't look over this pillow. Okay. Okay? Okay. And put your headphones on. Make sure you can't hear me, okay? We're gonna okay, put them back on. Sure. Like how I couldn't hear you before. Yeah, exactly. Okay, perfect. Exactly. Okay. So now this watch is very this. Very casual, by the way. I'm gonna... on top of the diving table. Yeah, yeah. This I mean, an everyday... it's a magic trick. Okay, cool. You know, don't question it. Okay, so I'm gonna wait. Were we just talking while you had your headphones? So, uh, so he definitely can't hear me. Nope. He definitely can't see over the pillow. Cannot see. But you guys can nope. see. You see that, bro? You see that? You turn, it's turning too! Whoa, it, you gotta tell, how are you doing that, man? You kinda of scared me now, a little bit. Scared me, and what's that sound, by the way? Bruh. Oh, jeez. So, you still can't hear me, right? No, no. See, guys, what I did there was I pretended I overused my psychic abilities and it made me pass out. Great way to really sell the trick to your friend. All right guys, so there you have it. Easy way to pull it on your friends. You could use a pillow, just make sure they have headphones or yeah. anything else that can kind of block the fact that you have a hair dryer on loud. Yeah, it's, it, it helps when you uh, don't plug that. Okay, experiment number four. All right guys, for the fourth experiment, you're gonna need some scotch tape, some string, something simple, and again, a ping pong ball. All you're gonna do is take your ping pong ball, attach the string with some tape, and you're good to go. Next, you just have to turn your tap on and then dangle your ping pong ball into the water and watch what happens. You see that, guys? It is stuck. Unless you actually pull at it really hard, it's not going anywhere. So again, this is kind of like the hair dryer in that the water goes around the ball and holds it in place. You can move it up and down the stream, but you can't really pull it out. Also, a quick tip, if you use a string that is really thin like this and white, it's even harder to see. So sometimes you can convince people that there's not even a string attached to it. All right guys, staying at the sink, there is the fifth experiment. So all you gotta do is fill the sink up with water, not even fill it up, just put a little bit of water in it. So now that the sink is filled up a little bit, you take your ping pong ball again and drop that right into the stream. As you can see, it's staying in place, but watch this. Are you all right? See that guys, when you move the stream of water, the ping pong ball goes with it. Alright guys, now for the final experiment, you're just going to take a bunch of ping pong balls, light them on fire, and see what happens. Also, added bonus is if you have a Bruck Up Flamingo in the background.
Now I do wanna say guys, I am a professional scientist, so be sure that you are using the proper safety gear while doing this, or your mom's around. Oh my god. Bro, get a hose, get a hose. Oh, we're good, we're good. There you guys have it. Aftermath. Woo! Alright guys, so you definitely want to be careful with that one because the fire, as you saw, gets really, really big. Fortunately, it goes out pretty quickly, but if it were to touch anything else, you might set your house on fire. So be really, really careful with that one. As you saw at the beginning too, I almost lit myself on fire. So I would recommend using a barbecue lighter as opposed to a regular one. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more Itsy Scientist, be sure to hit it with a big thumbs up. If we can get over 13 likes on this video, I will do some more experiments very, very soon. Also, let me know which experiment you thought was the coolest in the comment section below. Personally, I think I'd have to go with the hair dryer, but I'm interested to see what everyone else said. Also want to say a big thank you to my boy DJ for helping me film this. DJ? Go subscribe to him. Link in the description. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Toodles! Yo, you down to go poke hunting? Three stops! Three stops! Yo, have you heard of the Pikachu Easter egg? If it, it fucking froze again. I wonder what the first update will be. Yo, you down to go hit some poke stops? Yo, yo, did you hear about that Eevee Easter egg? Yo, do I look like Ash Ketchum? I think I do. Oh dope, another Weedle.